This program is brought to you by Real Estimate, Australia's number one property value estimate. Get your real estimate today on realestate.com.au. It's great to have your company here on Business Now. Let's take you to the real estate markets around the country. And there were 2,092 auctions. The clearance rate here, a touch lower, 56.4%. Sydney, 838 auctions. The clearance rate there, 54%. Also, around 1,170 private sales. In Melbourne, 740 auctions. The clearance rate there, 62%, plus another 1,170 private sales. In Brisbane, just 98 auctions. The clearance rate, 58% plus almost another 1,000 or so private sales. In Adelaide, just 74 auctions. The clearance rate here also just off a touch, 78%, plus 193 private sales. In Canberra, 78 auctions. Clearance rate, again, just under 54%. In Perth, just four auctions, but another 534 private sales. So let's bring in here REA Group Senior Economist, Eleanor Cray. Eleanor, last year we were talking about prices being squeezed high, not enough properties on the market. Today, it's turned around completely. Yeah, we've really seen that conditions have shifted quite quickly, actually. Um, and that's particularly the case in Sydney, where we've seen the Sydney market really kind of defying affordability constraints for much of this year. Um, but we've now started to see with that uplift in choice hitting the market with um, in some, some Sydney suburbs, uh, the number of homes on the market uh, doubling. Uh, so we're really starting to see that pace of price growth slowing uh, pretty much right around the country. But it's Sydney where we're really seeing, I think, that balance of power really shift to buyers because it's been with sellers for much of this year. And it's really shifting. And we're actually starting to see now that um, in, in more than half of Sydney suburbs, prices have actually fallen slightly over the past quarter. OK, but that's down to, and you've done the research here, national new listings, the, the highest they have been since September 2015. So we're talking the best part of nine years and there are more properties on the market now than at any time since then. That's going to surely tip the balance a little bit between the buyers and sellers. Yes, yeah, so I think that's what we're seeing. So nationally, you're exactly right. Um, new listings, the highest since 2015. That's also the case in Sydney and Melbourne. In Brisbane, new listings uh, in September, the highest for any September since 2018. In Canberra, that's since 2004. Uh, so really that flow of new properties hitting the market has really increased across every capital city. Uh, and then when we look at the total number of properties on market, that's where we can really break down that variation that we're seeing across the country. So the total stock of properties on market is around 50% above the average seen over the past five years in, in Canberra, Melbourne uh, and Hobart as well, where price momentum has been a lot weaker for much of this year. And then if we look at those smaller capital cities like Perth and Adelaide, where sellers are still probably holding the upper hand, even though we're seeing the flow of new listings hitting the market increase, that buyer demand or strength in buyer demand is absorbing that flow and total stock on market remains very constrained. OK, so explain what you think is the motivation for there being as many homes as there are on the market in most capital cities right now. What is it here about the psychology? Because generally you don't sell a property unless you've either got one lined up or you want to put some cash in your pocket. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we're seeing at the moment that I think it's really that consistent uptrend in home prices that we've seen for much of the past two years. So national home prices having risen for more than 20 months, incentivising seller confidence. We know that spring as well, we're in the midst of the spring selling season. It's typically the busiest time of year for property markets. We do usually see an uplift in properties hitting the market this time of year. Um, but this spring selling season, we've seen a particularly strong uplift in new properties hitting the market. OK, just very, very quickly, does it take away incentive to build new homes when you've got so many existing homes hitting the market? No, I don't think so. So I think we're seeing, although we're seeing that kind of flow of new homes hitting the market, when we look at the kind of overarching supply demand imbalance that we've seen really putting that floor under under property prices despite the sustained higher interest rate environment. We've still got that deficit when it comes to, to housing supply versus where population growth is going to be. I'll tell you, it's going to be fascinating just to watch and see how this plays out over the spring as well. Eleanor Cray, always good to chat to you. Thank you for having me.